Richie, you live from Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. Back again with sports this morning. I'm Austin Okonakwan. Good morning, welcome. I'm Cecilia Amalve. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Tayo Salah. Okay, on your marks, get set. Let's run. We're getting set for the second edition of the Lagos City Marathon. Guys, last year, uh, we, we witnessed some sort of um, reassurance that the marathon has come to stay. This second edition should give us something to talk about. Yes, definitely, it's going to be massive. More people coming in, more money, mm -hmm. and the atmosphere, the boys and all that. But yeah. then, Lagosians should get ready <laughs> for serious oh, traffic tomorrow. And, yeah, okay. and obviously, we're expecting <laughs> an improved you know, That's right. uh, event mm -hmm. more so compared mm -hmm. to what we had uh, last time. It's all about running your race. That's what it is. That's the way it is. Okay, from the Nigerian Professional Football League Match Day 8, we also get us talking. And also, for most of the teams in the continent, Rangers are already there getting ready for their game. Mm, interesting, good for our Rangers. Uh, but still on this um, match day um, 8, um, I'm looking forward to seeing the match between uh, the top of the table, Plateau United, mm. and bottom of the table... <laughs> Aqua United. So ask me, that's no shot to you at all. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, yeah, from the NPFL, we we'll go to um, the continent where wow. uh, four Nigerian club sides will be in continental action this weekend. Rangers in International and Rivers United, it's all about the Champions League, while for FC, Ifian Yuba, and Wicked Suarez, it's all about the Confederation Cup. That's what it is. So, okay. um, Hopefully, the, all these Nigerian teams can, can, you know, can start on a winning note. Uh, it's very important. Last year wasn't very good for Nigeria on the continent. Hopefully, uh, things uh, can be different uh, this time around. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. Um, a lot of, uh, I mean, football followers in Nigeria, I believe Rivers United, uh, can you know, get, get an away victory. But uh, we understand this is football. Anything can happen. We can only yeah. wish the teams all the best. They have prepared well. Exactly. We, we, we saw in the Rangers for the left. We all know the story of Rivers United. If you are about to put money in there, Wikitori is good run last season. They are hoping to take it to the continent. We're just waiting for the action. Yeah, that's mm. the thing. We yeah, just that's can't the, wait. yeah okay. we can't wait. Right? We'll talk a lot more about um, the um, continent enter action mm -hmm. for Nigerian club sides um, later on this weekend. Uh, but we'll start with what's going on with UEFA and the World Cup. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, they, they, if you're extending to how many? So you give us 16. That's what they're saying. <laughs> I mean, when, when, when the news uh, broke yesterday, I mean, they had the first um, executive uh, meeting of the year. And I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised uh, they've all agreed to ask for 16 slots. Uh, that's for the 2026 FIFA World Cup. 16 mm. slots. Um, the last time around in Brazil, they, were, they qualified. 13 teams. Now they want 16. 16. I don't know. Do you think it's they asking for too much or do you think it's fair game? Well, I think it's fair game for me. Well, uh, uh, you know, according to the president, he says since they are the best mm -hmm. because of the catch <laughs> because of the UEFA Champions League, they yeah, are the best. They have right. the best mm. yeah, the best football playing country in the world. Mm. Germany, England, and all of them, and our fans and everybody. So he it said it's fair for them to actually have 16. I was thinking, since UF is actually, our FIFA is increasing mm. it, you know, more than the usual number, it was from 32 and extending to 60 something. I was thinking, okay, what they're going to do, it's, it's going to benefit other countries that yeah. don't have a, uh, mm -hmm. a huge representation, That's like right. the Asian continent, uh, the Commonwealth, you know, the South Americans, and also Africa. Africa That's what we were all thinking. But yeah, right now, but... Europe is saying, we need more slots. Yeah. Give us like four Three, three, plus, three more, yeah. so yeah. three extra. So that's what they're demanding. That's yeah. the only way Austin, they can actually. I, you don't seem to agree. I, just, I don't know what UEFA's problem. UEFA just believe that football is theirs. You know, them, and right? you remember their body language wasn't so good when Infantino was making this proposal yes. for the 18th format. They said they were, and some of them you, you know, said they were not consulted and all that. Look at that. Now, play. now they are thinking that they should have 16. Mm -hmm. Just look at that because at the now moment they're thinking they've made the recommendation mm -hmm. to them. We will not give them because because they said we are going back to that. <laughs> council meeting. Yeah. We will not give UEFA because um, yeah. UEFA actually thought it was going to make football boring. UEFA was saying the quality yeah, of football really will drop. Support. UEFA waiting to be consulted when they believe that they are football. Why are you waiting to be consulted? So the, my, my argument is they were not part of this. They didn't like it and now they want 16 teams. They but want they're to not get outsiders. Too, oh please, so, yeah. But those of us that so, really clamor so for it, I'm, 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 I'm thinking about my African brothers, give us 10. 
I would know we're fine mm. because yes. So we, you want you we, want five we, more slots? Yeah, five more Africa, slots. Just like no, nah, so, no, no, let's, be, let's what, be realistic. If they want it's very realistic. Thing. If they no, want sixteen, no, then we want ten. Ten, fine, as that. Guys, five let's, more. Let's three, start three. smelling the semi-finals. Let us be realistic. And he said, and another condition is you don't jump from five slots to ten. You don't double your slot. Okay, you don't double your slot. Okay, all right. They okay. They can give us three more. They won't have eight. Eight is still too small. We want ten. Another issue they were talking about is the fact that the look. They know that the 16 teams can mm. qualify for the next round, and also no European nation will be in the same group. And that's so when, you're going to spread and it that's when it so will be 16, boring. The 16 when they are teams, sparring, getting 16 teams will not have phase. Can exactly, and that? the 16 teams will definitely not be in the same group. So you have one European uh, country in a particular group. So you don't have them. Uh, you have maybe Germany and France, for instance, in one group. They don't want that. So they're going to be spread across so that. Every country that qualifies mm. for the FIFA World Cup will have a chance of making it to the next round. So that's it. Well, 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 well done, Yefa. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it For thinking that they, they own football. Uh, but I like what uh, Sefren is doing. Sefren is trying to tell them you can't keep quiet. Something is now done. And then you just jump up. And I say you want this. He's a leader. He's trying to, you know, bring out the voices of the other guys. Exactly. But, but, but th that's the excuse of we're not properly consulted. What yeah, you well, mean, you know? That's, that was that's 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 now. Yeah, that's that's the past now. That's now. all. That's, yeah, that's all forgotten now. Everyone is trying to move forward. I'm moving, it's all I'm, about. I'm taking your effort to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is trying to move forward now. <laughs> anyways, in anyways, um, FIFA. They're expected to actually review the continental uh, quotas. Um, mm. That's sometime in May. That's so that's right. when we get to find out how many more slots Africa will have and uh, for Europe as mm. well. So I imagine Asia want more slots as of well. Course. And Oceania uh -huh. as well. Too. So that's it's right. going to be Everybody very interesting. <laughs> okay, particularly <laughs> for those of us that we didn't wait for them to consult us. We <laughs> were interested. We that were supporting. <laughs> who who wants double? Is that you guys get get my point? They need to double mm. that one in Africa. And that was not the only thing they actually discussed at yes. the executive uh, meeting. They also discussed the fact that they want every term, you know, of the president to be 12. Mm. And when you're over 70, you can actually... You know, contest. But then, I think what they're looking at is it has to be like two of yes. That's the maximum you can actually stay. Mm. So it simply means three terms. Three terms mm -hmm. for four years. I mean, it looks like it's a new, yeah. uh, new era. That's right. You know, both for FIFA and uh, UEFA. And um, yeah, very interesting. I like what's going on. Let's mm. go and listen to um, the UEFA president, Alexander Seferin. He isn't speaking about a lot more uh, when it comes to European football. Stay with us. As you see, current situation is that we don't have any term limits. We only have an age limit of 70. The new proposal is that UEFA president and UEFA executive committee members may now only serve for maximum of three terms of four years and any partial term of office shall count as one full term. So from now on, for all UEFA competitions, there will be a transparent bidding procedure. So no more political favors, no more political tools for us. For every single organization of any competition, you would have to pass the bidding procedure. About the number of slots, we presented uh, to the executive committee members our view. We should be realistic. We can push and be outvoted. But uh, I think and we think it's realistic to ask for 16 uh, slots at least, plus another condition that each European team is in different group. Then, if it's true that we are so good that the quality is on our side, then I think that uh, all 16 can qualify in the second round. Nobody could explain to me what does it mean to be a fourth vice president of UEFA. So the idea is to change the, the situation change the statutes, and that we have one first vice president who uh, leads UEFA if the president is not there, and the other would have specific tasks, tasks in relation to their function. We are planning to establish a different UEFA governance and compliance committee. We have now three members, all internals all from national associations. We think it's more transparent, more uh, good governance practice if we include uh, members who are, who are outside of football. 
So we will have two independent members, members of that committee. UEFA President Alexander Seferin speaking on why UEFA won 16 slots at the 2026 uh, FIFA World Cup as well as uh, limiting the presidential uh, term of future presidents at just 12. Okay, let's move on from um, Alexander Seferin and all the requests they're making, <laughs> you know, to FIFA now. We go straight to athletics. Um, athletics. athletics. What's going on with Usain Bolt? It's yeah. not happy, man, this morning. Yeah, it's because of the second installment of the Nitro Athletics Series in Melbourne. The second uh, one that they actually had yesterday it ended in a kind of uh, a grudge. It, oh. When the uh, mistake was made on the night mm. that the Australian, the Australian actually uh, won, you know, Usain Bolt was furious and said the Australians should be disqualified because one of the athletes actually ran out of the line. So at the end of the day, he was listed, his own group was listed announced as the winner because it's like, it's a three, it's a series, three weekends. The first one was last weekend, the second one this weekend, the final will be on Saturday. Then that's when we'll know who is going to be the overall winner. But from the way it stands, if you look at the stand, it's actually a team Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt has not really done a yeah. uh, uh, single race, so to speak, singles event. Really? What he has been doing is really mm. another, and because of that, so he's really been leading them to some spectacular race. They say the gap is giving everybody shows it that, hey, why would that guy even retire? Anyway? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's try and take the talk out of Usain Bolt. It comes down to <laughs> refereeing. It was a referee <laughs> error again. Yes. It's interesting, this thing anyway, happens everywhere. Go, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the four by hundred meters. That's the crux of the matter, you know. That's referee true. error, it was awarded to the wrong team. The, the spectators that were there, including IWF President Sebastian Coy, left yeah. with the fact that it wasn't oh, you say yeah. both team that yeah, won, yeah. you know, so no matter what we do now, announce it later on, it's just the human angle to sports that yeah. these errors must happen. You know, and it, we must keep saying this, Cecilia, so that this part of the world, our sportsmen and women will understand that yeah. these yeah. errors it happen. Occur. We can only preach that it's limited to a point that we can understand that it's error when it happens. Mm. It's just what it yeah, is. If, if not for the benefit, you know, of the replay and all that, they wouldn't have seen That's it right. because that button exchange mm -hmm. and all that, it, when you see it, you understand that. But because the model was very close, you know, to the guy, he saw it. But the referee, maybe from a distance, didn't see it. So that's instant him. judgment and all that. So that's when the mishap actually yeah. happened. And he just left him fuming at of the course, Australian uh, of referee. Of course, Austin. Um, okay. Yeah, we understand okay. it's human, you know, humans make uh, mistakes and all that. But uh, you can understand why you feel I don't buy. You have, you've got a, um, a reason to react. That's right. And you can say, um, Houston Bull wasn't a happy man at all. He didn't like it. Uh, but everything still went well. And... Uh, hopefully, you know, mistakes are limited in future races.